Hi, I'm Zach Anner, the author of If at Birth You Don't Succeed. Today, we're going to be recording the audiobook, and I want to give you guys a behind-the-scenes look at what you'll be listening to. I don't use an iPad. I use a Microsoft Surface. Could we get a Microsoft Surface in here? Kind of, kind of pressed for time, bud. All right. It's 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Try that with a little less gravel and glass in the throat. That's my Batman. See, the thing that's cool is you could go straight from a Batman into a Pacino if you just add a hua. It's 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Hua! Yeah, I I'm still gonna need a little more Zach. Are you gonna get Oprah for the Oprah parts, or do I have to read those? I think that'd be up to you. I don't know Oprah. What if I just sang some of it? No, I, I still think we we need to stick to the script. I'll read the script, but I'll do it in like a, a Sondheim type way. It's 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. The thing that you don't realize when you're writing a book is just how many words you'll have to say when you're reading an audiobook. As it turns out, I would have written a much shorter book if I had known that I had to read so many words. The Canadian plan was likened to genocide, but even uh, worse. You, you want this in, in the book? This is David Sedaris's book. I, I don't think that we have the licenses to do that. Well, he's a great writer, though. I feel like we should at least read one chapter of his. I don't think that's going, that's going to work. Maybe we should just do your book. If I wear these glasses, do I sound smarter when I read? Surrounded by a film crew, comma, shouting jokes into a camera, period. Could you so leave out the punctuation? The commas are supposed to indicate pauses. Oh. That's, that makes a lot of sense. It's okay. Happens all the time. All right. It's 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning, and I'm bouncing on a trampoline. I think recording is going pretty well. I mean, we haven't gotten through the first paragraph yet, but it's only been a day and a half. Zach, do we need to take a break? We can do the snack this thing. This is the rolling sound. It still sounds like a, a bag of potato chips being crinkled. So I'm learning things all over the place. You have to turn off the air conditioning when you're recording in the sound booth, because, listen, if there was air conditioning going, you would hear it. Um, Zach, are you naked in the booth? Yes, that's correct. That's what I thought. The sound you are hearing is a nacho cheese Dorito. Zach, could we roll maybe one just normal take? What do you think I've been doing? Maybe, maybe we tone it down just a little bit more. Just like completely not creative at all. Right. Just like yes. all the magic I've been giving you, you don't want. Exactly. Maybe even doing a take, I don't know, with your shirt on. You mean just be myself? Yes. All right. It's 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning, and I'm bouncing on a trampoline surrounded by a film crew shouting jokes into a camera. I'm 30 years old, and being professionally silly is what I do for a living. Or at least part of it. How's that? That was golden. All right. I guess I'll put my pants on. Yeah, I think that would be best. I may have accidentally peed a little in your booth. I guess, like, one of the main lessons of the book, it's kind of like how to be yourself, you know? I know how to be all these great, lovable characters, but essentially what they want is the real me. If at birth you don't succeed from Macmillan Audio, buy it on March ahead. Do you guys know the Beatles recorded on this piano? Or one that was probably like this? Same number of keys anyway.